Calico. Landslide. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat because we got to speak. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be following me on IG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama and say hi. Calico. Terrainio. You don't know what terrain you on. Salute to Calico and everything that he has going on personally and professionally. I feel like he's a legendary battle rapper. Has done a lot for himself. Has done a lot for his community. And whoop de whoop de whoop made music. I still rock with the Tinafo. I still rock with Am I Wrong If I da, 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 da. I still rock with WWE. All the Calico's music because I like Detroit. I, like, I fuck with the Detroit music. I fuck with PZ. A lot of artists out there. But he's wondering why. He's not on Summer Madness. He's not got the call for Gnome. Um, niggas been calling it Diet Gnome and all type of shit. But I'm going to break down every round that I've sketched about. There's nothing slicker than the tools in the Rusty Share House. These niggas can't be a plan. They're going to leave here giving head counts. They ain't even book you niggas' rooms, hall of hospitals, giving beds out. Um, Cal says, how do I have performances I've been having then get sat on the bench? Battle rap is very strategic. I'm dunking on niggas, hitting 35-foot shots, 360 windmills, don't get a call for Gnome or some madness. Don't get a call for Gnome or some madness. Well, I got you. Don't you even worry about it. Come on, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Take a seat because we got to speak. I'm going to tell you why you didn't get that call. Number one, the new. It's about, they pushing the new right now. They pushing the, it is what it is. You've heard it in other blogs. You've seen it in tweets. It is true. They are pushing the new. When you see the ultimate madness, you see all these tournaments, you see all this shit is mostly full of new guys. The swamps, the now stumbles. They just made they just they literally just stumbled upon a new artist that they're gonna work with. Stumbles is gonna get matchups. You will see stumbles versus a shotgun shoot. You will see stumbles versus maybe a big T. You will see stumbles versus all of the introductory guys that they bring people in with because he literally tricked his way onto the stage. It was smart. Smart as a motherfucker. I respect it. Listen, nobody was checking for this nigga. He fucked around, got into a negative situation. You know they're going to come by it, brought it, put him in. He won and excelled. This nigga's out of here. As long as he keep doing what he did in his last battle, he's gone. So, easy to block him. I can say so much about his come up and where he came from to where he's at. You know, you still got Geechee Gotti around. You still got, uh, they, they, they trying to build a buzz with Nun Nun right now. Nun Nun's fire. We're going to see what he does versus Danny. Danny Myers, another name who had never really got no looks like that. Not on URL. He battled Hollow, but the shit was in McDonald's parking lot on a fucking charity event. He battled Twerk, the shit was on the basketball court. It's always be some stipulations with that. Danny never get a straight shot. It always be some bullshit ever since he battled Rex for the 10K. He never gets his shit the way he's supposed to. Now he's on no gnome and battling against none of us. So I, let me keep breaking. I'm I, I'm gonna keep cooking. So Cal, your battles ain't cheap. We all know. You talk that chicken talk, it should be up there. Your number's high. Respectfully so. But you gotta think, these niggas is booking three or four battles for what it costs to book you. And not only is it the MCs, a lot of the other MCs don't do y'all no favors. A lot of these guys that have been coming around, like Murder Moog and Reed and his last, not Reed, Murder Moog and Lux and his last joint. And when Rex comes around, all these niggas be having these performances and I'm not saying they doing horrible, but they performances don't even be the best performance of the night. Easy to block capital versus chess was the best battle. That's those are newer generation niggas. You know what I'm saying? So if you hone in a talent of newer generation niggas having the best battles on the card, Gichi Gotti beats loaded Lux. You know what I'm saying? They looking at this analytically like, yo, if we could get these niggas, get them right, yeah, we could pay them, but we don't gotta pay them as much as you. But we could pay them high, but we're not pay them as much as you. So if we gotta pay a nigga 30, 40, if we could pay these niggas like 20, they just booked two niggas for the price of you. That's the reason why. And then a lot of people were saying, you know, Cal don't got no real grudge matches or wanted battles right now. I feel he does, him versus easy. Again, that's a new nigga. This is what I'm saying. So some of the comments said, uh, seems odd especially after what after that chess performance you would want to see him battle on summer madness yes cal they go crazy he beat cal beat chess this is the thing i'm talking about so there is a side for cal cal beat chess cal should be having easy to block captain that's just the way it goes to me uh coffee brown responded said very 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 expensive with the meme like the very expensive meme cal is not cheap you know that and then somebody else responded the only possible reason uh and you know niggas are saying you need to be on um 
somebody said uh, you need to go to RBE, he's battling on RBE. Then uh, somebody said you just choked against Surf. He said Nitty vs. Cal on Summer Man, this will be fire. Uh, you sat down chess, you know they can't stand. <laughs> you sat down chess, you know they can't stand. Yeah, that might be it. That, there's, I'm just reading all type of shit. Uh, Easy versus Cal on Summer Madness. Easy versus Cal in Philly. Rum versus Cal on maybe a Drake card. It says at Cal versus Av or Cal versus Fonz. Cal got Fonz. I think it's in like one round or some shit like that. And that's the thing. Do they want to invest in some of the artists to put them against you? No, I'm not calling out no names and shit. Fans could kind of like, you could disseminate. When you say certain names, do you want to pay the 30 or 35 or 40 or whatever Cal is getting to see them versus said name? A lot of the times it'd be no. Some of these battlers, you don't even hear from them unless a blogger is talking about them. Unless they got a battle coming up. Niggas' names don't be ringing no bells and shit. And they don't, have, they don't do themselves no favors. Niggas don't got no clothes. Niggas don't got no YouTube channel. Niggas don't got no caffeine channel. Niggas ain't got no music. Niggas' buzz just be dead. And then they just pop up out of nowhere and say, yo, I got a battle coming up. I want you to blah, 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 blah. Niggas be like, yo, where you been all year, fam? Niggas ain't seen you. So, um, back to Cal. It says, uh, Nah, bro, you Draymond Green, you gotta chill. And somebody said, yeah, you really cost too much. Yo, Cal, at least you gotta call to be a ch Fuck that, I ain't, read, I ain't reading no more of them. And those are all replies to Cal's comments, so he can see them and shit. But he feels like he's been beating niggas. And Cal's been having a pretty good run, I will say. Besides, you know, the surf battle, I feel like surf won. Um, he's been doing his thing. So I can see why he's questioning the fact that he's not booked on Gnome. Or Summer Madness, but Summer Madness ain't here yet. But as far as Gnome goes, they got some good battles on there. They booked Geechee versus Hollow, that ain't cheap. They booked Tay Rock versus T Top, that ain't cheap. They got the hundred thousand dollar battle between JC and Swamp. They got Danny versus Nun Nun. They got Easy versus Goods. Easy versus Goods is a known battle. I see a lot of people saying that Easy gonna win. I see a lot of people saying that Goods is gonna win. We just gonna see how that one plays out. But I, do I personally, at the end of the day, do I want to see Cal continue to be booked? Of course, Cal is a dope MC. Like I fuck with what Cal does. And after seeing his performance versus Chess, like he really deserve. Does he deserve it? Of course he deserves it. But I'm telling you, I the reason why niggas is not probably so quick to make that phone call is because they just got a card and put it out and people accepted it, you know? It's, it wasn't, it's not a bad card, is it the greatest card of all? No, none of them versus uh, Danny Myers, that's a super fight battle. They could do that shit any week. They could, they really could. That's, that's not a, it's not a battle. First of all, it's not a battle that nobody asks for. Nobody asks for Danny versus none of them. Is it a dope battle? Will it get broken down? Will niggas watch it? Of course, we gonna watch it. But that ain't a battle that nobody was asking for. Nobody was like, yo, I gotta see that. But Danny versus none of them, both MCs combined, I doubt they would get half of what Calico gets. They know that too, though. They know that. Let's say you give none of and Danny 10 apiece. It's a gnome, let's just say. Cal could ask for 40 or 50. That's the, the price, the prices done got raised and jacked up so much that a lot of these MCs are asking for so much money for these performances. And then when they actually get on stage and rap, you got niggas who's not getting paid half of that that are performing better. Prime example with motherfucking Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving wanted a contract for $250 million to play 29 games last year. 29 games. And they didn't even win. So the team looked at him like, nigga, we not giving you $250 million? You could come sign for this, 36 for one year, or you could bounce. If you want to leave, we ain't going to stop you. The door's right there. What Kyrie did. Nigga, I'm going back to the next. I got to get this $30 million. He going to play a lot of games this season. It's a contract year. He might leave. But what I'm saying is, you can't drive the price. Now, if Kyrie scores 100, 100 points a game, he can play 30 games because they're going to win all 30. He's going to score 100 points a game, but that's not what that shit don't happen. He scores 27 a game. 27 a game is not enough to, 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 to be in and out the fucking lineup. When I say that comes to battle rap, you are always like, we paying you all of this money. Not you, Cal, but we paying the big names all this money, and the battles are not... These grudge match, these big names, these we gotta see it. Cassidy versus Arsenal. Cassidy versus Goods. <laughs> I guarantee you ain't nobody watching them shit. Niggas, them shits ain't got no replay value. Niggas be laughing more than anything. They be laughing at the fact that these battles is happening. 
You just seen Jay Mills go all crazy on ARP because he's not booking him. He's been getting better, but his performances ain't like that. That nigga don't got no memorable moments, none. Like, oh man, he, he bombed on this person. I don't got that. I don't got it. Very few, very few legendary names are delivering on a high level right now. If I give you 15 high level legendary battlers, you'll be lucky to have seven or eight that are performing right now at a high level. No disrespect to nobody, but with Rex get paid, niggas, they, they could go book three niggas for that. Three, hungry. Jada Nightwings, Real Six, all these niggas that's hungry as fuck, you think they're not gonna go book them? Why would they? The old is gonna phase out. They're gonna phase the old niggas out that's getting the 30s and the 40s. They're gonna phase them niggas out. Bring the new talent in. Let's put them on these five years, six years. They put these niggas on these contracts, bro. These niggas be on contract for five years, my nigga. I've seen them. Don't make me. Niggas be on contract for five. You know what happens in five years from now, my nigga? It'd be a new president, all type of shit. But they put you on a contract for so long, and your battles, they, they doing containable, they keep containable talent, right? It's like this. Put these niggas on a long ass contract. They can't battle nowhere else. I don't give a fuck if your baby mom need money. I don't give a fuck if your uncle need McDonald's and shit. Put you on a long ass contract. You can't go battle on the other league, and if you do, you can't come back over here. We'll drop your battles when we want. But your shit's just not going on YouTube. YouTube is like the sewer to them. They don't want to put the shit on YouTube because everybody gets access to it for free. I'm sure if niggas could stop it, they wouldn't even have let niggas recap their battles on YouTube. They would want to keep that shit all on the app, and the app is horrible. They don't drop nothing new on there. Ain't no exclusive content on there. I just got it as to donate $8 a month back to the culture. But the, that shit is whack. The only thing that drops on the app is battles that happen on events the week before. Nigga, I can screenshot that. I'm getting the fuck up out of here, though. Y'all niggas stay up. Gang, gang. But yeah, Cal. Number one rule, the reason why you're not getting booked like that, you cost too much. That's all. Salute.